So now for a pad, I'm going to see what what I can get a pad from. For instance, if I can use Morphine, I can get some really nice pads that are very simple that you guys can also get if you have. I like that pad. So I'll just keep that there and kind of look for a note to start with. That's a cool note. Then now we're going to come back to that note. Let me just add four bars here and start doing my drums. I'll go into the drums. Look for a nice drum sample. That sounds nice and easy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load four and start stacking my sounds. I'm going to pull down my tempo to 117. Now I can add my snare. That sounds okay. Now the key with these snares is to layer them. Now let's play these drums against our drone. Now bear in mind all these sounds are FL Studio stock sounds. Now what we want to add to this is add our sax or a trombone if you will. I'll just go into purity because I can quickly get to a sax sound here. I'll use maybe an alto sax or a tenor sax. <laughs> drop that there and then I'll just cut it delete the end now let's add some keys to this and see if we can get some nice rhythm going. I'll just maybe pick minor seventh, drop that there, see how that sounds. Okay, transpose that. Up. Okay, that's a wrong scale. Let's see if 
we can get some keys going. That's F. That's our root note. Process. I'm trying to make this video as short as I can so you guys can grasp how to kind of go through the sounds. So now what I can do is I can start with my bass. I'll just load some DX10. And then I'm going to load Log Drum. And we'll just increase the decay time to give it a more, more of a sustain. Just more of a sustain into the track to kind of help it out. gonna add some steel drum to kind of give it a little melody going I'm gonna go into legacy instruments and perks now this folder is old I remember using this folder back in the day when FL studio was still new to the world yo that was like version 3 if I'm not mistaken <laughs> to get another sound I'll just go to maybe some leads I'm gonna look for something that's a little bit soft so I can play around with the sound a little bit much better Let's 
let's add a little bit of roll to this bass to this log drum over here. <laughs> Make sure that you can hear this roll. can do with this is that I can now split by channel delete that now everything is in is in its own channel then with this one as well I can just split by channel just to split that then what I can do to expand this so you can see how much I've done so far is just add all these tracks and then now you can see how far I was just working right here on this one channel so now I can just move all of this back and then I can duplicate all of this BBB. So that you can see that I've actually done a lot just as I was adding all of these sounds together. So now all I can just do is duplicate, 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 and then I can start arranging. Then I can just select all of this together, duplicate it again so I can mark my other part, my next 17 bars, and then I can delete all of these guys and maybe the log drum okay i think i switched off there okay we can remove the sax over here we don't want it to stop playing over there then the instruments can actually come in gradually as the track is going. You can just start off with the pad. Right now I've just randomly arranged up to like two minutes. So this is just a basic arrangement of your Ama Piano track. You can go on and create your break and everything that you want to do. But this is already sounding like a already done track. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that helps you on you know creating Ama Piano. It was really simple how I did this. You can follow it. You can watch this video again and you know trace all my steps and see what I was doing to get this type of sound. And it is accurate with Ama Piano. So I hope you find this really helpful. If you have anything you want to add to this or anything you want to ask, let me know down in the comments what you think and what sounds you would replace and what sounds you normally use in Ama Piano. And if Ama Piano is your favorite genre, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I have a lot of great content here that I'm going to be sharing.